gender rents. Because who doesn't love controversy? So recently I was watching this video. There are only two genders, Change My Mind by Steven Crowder. And some arguments that were made in this video by people got me heated. Now I won't argue against those arguments or those positions that people made. Rather, I'll just give my two cents on the topic. The problem is, it is going to be a heavily opinionated video. Because let's be honest, this is an opinion based topic. Now without any further ado, let's get started. I have a problem with non-binary genders. Denying your gender is the same as denying your race in my eyes. The biggest reason people may define themselves as non-binary is because they believe that they don't conform to the societal standards placed on that specific gender. But that is ridiculous to me. It is like me denying I am Mexican because I don't like tacos, I don't speak Spanish, or I don't like soccer. The lack of interest and things that are associated with stereotypical Mexican heritage doesn't make me any less Mexican. Race comes from heritage and family. Likewise, only because someone is male who isn't masculine doesn't make him in any less male. Gender comes from your biological makeup. In other words, you were born with it. Now people can make the argument that sex and gender are not interchangeable. Rather, two are totally different things. That sex is biological and gender is based off someone's feelings. And sure, however, that wasn't always the case. Hell, in the US legislation, there are many examples where the two terms are used interchangeably. But who cares? It's 2018, we only care about this present state of things, huh? Ah. Alright, why? Well, I see the belief that gender is based off someone's feelings as immature and problematic. Why is it immature, you may ask? Well, it goes back to the whole denying the race thing and who you are. Someone's personality doesn't determine a person's gender. And why may it be problematic? Well, there are two examples I could think of. First, with the medical professionals. A doctor has to know whether you are male or female. Your diagnosis may depend on it. There's no way around that. Why? Because gender, just like sex, is biological. Second example, let's say you are a witness to a crime and you clearly saw the offender. How would you describe the suspect to the police? Height? Weight maybe? You would maybe even use their skin color? Or maybe even gender? Oh no, no, we can't use gender because it is wrong to assume maybe the suspect is non-binary and doesn't conform to societal standards. That's just ridiculous. See, a binary gender system isn't bad or non-inclusive, it just makes sense. People shouldn't try to find themselves based on race or gender, they should find themselves through hobbies and interests. In my opinion, gender is only what you are, not who you are. But then again, what do I know? 